We're here today to talk about our two new line of evaporative products. Those two new lines are the E-Series and the ESC series of evaporative cooling technologies. So the E is our direct evaporative line designed for both new construction and retrofit projects in both commercial and industrial applications. As with all direct evaporative technologies, the air and water stream come into contact with each other, creating a cool yet humid air stream. You may also know these types of products as swamp coolers. The E-Series is only available as a direct evaporative solution. Uh, we have 10 models with airflow ranges from 10,000 CFM to 80,000 CFM. Mounting options are outdoor only, both rooftop and pad mount. There are some filter options and intake options that are available. It uses Munter's uh, glass deck or cell deck media and can come in some voltage options as well. Along with the E-Series, we launched our ESC Series, which is a semi-customizable product line that is mainly indirect evaporative, but also has two-stage, which is both indirect and direct evaporative technologies combined, and also direct evaporative technology. The ESC has also been designed for both new construction and retrofit for both the commercial and industrial market. The ESC series has 14 models with air flows ranging from 2400 CFM to 59,000 CFM. The reason we considered this a semi-custom unit is that unlike the E, the ESC can be configured with energy recovery solutions, a DX coil, a hot water coil section, an indirect fired gas heating section, and many other options that you cannot find on the direct evaporative E-Series model line. So let's take a look at some examples of indirect cooling capabilities in different locations throughout the United States. So let's take a look at Atlanta, Georgia. And we're gonna look at the dry bulb temperature because that's really what you feel. So if you had an entering air temperature dry bulb of 93.8 degrees, you could achieve a leaving air temperature dry bulb of 78.5, which is about a 15 degree temperature drop. In Dallas, that 100 degree entering air temperature dry bulb could be a leaving air temperature dry bulb of 80 degrees or a little over a temperature drop of 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In Raleigh, North Carolina, we would have an entering air bulb dry temperature of 94.1, and a leaving air temperature dry bulb of 79.8, which is achieving about a temperature drop of a little over 14 degrees. In Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you have a 92.4 entering air temperature dry bulb and a leaving air temperature dry bulb of 77.8, or just a little over a 14 degree temperature difference drop. It's not for everything, but you should consider it when you're trying to cool a space, maybe by 15 degrees or less.